and welcome back to a special holiday edition of Sunday Stiff with the incomparable, the infamous Miss Remy May and her very proud mother, myself, Miss Brewer, and the bestest mommy in the whole wide world, the bestest grandma in the whole wide world, Grandma Brewer. <laughs> and you can't tell because Miss May is on me today. But myself and Mrs. Burr are actually wearing matching Christmas sweaters. Hello. <laughs> so we want to do an activity that you can have fun with your friends and family as you all gather for the holiday season. So of course we're going to incorporate, you know, your little Christmas colors. But the main thing is we want you to have fun. And for this activity, you do not need that many things. But first and foremost, you do need parental consent. The reason why I'm saying you need parental consent is because you need a glass plate, all right? And we don't want any accidents. We don't want anyone getting in trouble for going to the kitchen and taking, oh, bless you, May May, and taking a plate and then forgetting that you used it for science and someone accidentally eating off of it. That's a no-no. So parental guidance is highly suggested. So all you need is a glass plate. You need some Expo markers, and we're going to talk about the difference with the colors later on. And then you'll need some regular tap water, okay? So that sounds pretty easy, right? So do you know what's the difference between an Expo marker and a Sharpie marker? What about your markers like the Crayola markers or the Rose Art markers that you have at school? What's the difference between them? May May, do you know the difference? So we know that dry erase markers or Expo markers, when you write them on surfaces, what can you do? Erase. You can take that paw of that hand and you can erase it up. Yes, that's right. All right. So the reason why you can do that with, say, an Expo marker opposed to a Sharpie marker is because the Sharpie marker actually has some adhesive that comes along with this ink. So, because we don't have that adhesive in these Expo markers, we're getting ready to make magic with that. So, now I'm going to turn it over to Grandma Brewer, and she's going to show me and Remy this magic trick, because we don't even know how to do it. Wow. <laughs> okay, first of all, we're going to take the Expo marker, black preferably, and we're going to write on the plate. So, we're going to write, Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas, May May. Merry Christmas. And while Mrs. Brewer writes Merry Christmas, I will share it with you guys. But Miss May went to go see Santa last Sunday. So that's why you guys didn't see her. But after this, we're going to go on Christmas break. We're going to spend some time with family. And we will be back for the new year for 2020. Okay. So I wrote Merry Christmas. Now we're ready to add a little bit of water. We're gonna do it slowly. Okay, now I don't know if you can see it or not. Okay, Smay, you see? You see your magic letters, May May? They went magically off yeah, the plate. So they're just there. floating around. So you can try this at home, but you got to have an adult supervision. And so remember when we talked about the different colors? So being the scientists that we are, we are going to test and see if we get like a little jingle bell rock going with red and green, how it will react. Which color is uh, better or more susceptible to our fun little magic trick? So then that way, you know exactly if you want to play scientist amongst your cousins and family, you can. Or if you just want to turn it into maybe a race, you can. The, the options are... Oh my goodness, unlimited. unlimited. Okay, but we want to test it for our own edification. So if you don't know what that word is, go ahead and have a look-see at the dictionary's edification. All right, um, so we're going to try red and green. We're going to see if that's going to work better than the black marker. All righty, so now it is time for us to do our science experiment slash magic trick. Um, as you can see, we decided to add more colors to our rainbow because... 
the more the merrier, right? And we're going to go ahead and do a secondary experiment. And that secondary experiment is to see which one of these colors are going to transfer best, all right? Because we wanna make sure that we are giving our scientists um, and our magicians all the tools they need to be the very best, right? Um, so I'm gonna move this plate here so you can see it. Now I am right-handed, um, so I'm gonna place the markers there. Now, before we begin, I just wanna say this. Please make sure that when you are writing your letters, number one, you stay in this part of the plate. Don't get on the brim of the plate. Um, and also make sure that you do not write super hard. So I know sometimes we get that pen or that marker and we just, uh, we, we're really aggressive. Don't be aggressive. All right, just uh, lightly mark. And what we're gonna do opposed to coming up with, you know, just a nice cute message, just so we have an opportunity to explore all these colors and utilize the space as, you know, efficiently as possible i'm just going to go ahead and write the alphabet okay and i'm going to see how far i can get every two letters i'm going to change colors all right so now's that perfect time where we all get to go back to pre-k and kindergarten mm -hmm. and talk about our colors and go through the alphabet all right so let's start with black and the first two letters of our alphabet are what boys and girls a and b so we got an a we got a B. Uh, uh, I feel like we should have a, like a cheer going. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do light blue. We get a C. C. We get a D. Let's see, let's go with red now. Now we get a E. And we get a F. <laughs> and now we get a G. <laughs> and what comes next? H. Oh, I'm sorry, that was green, of course. And now we're gonna go with orange. And what comes after H? I. What comes after I? J. All right, and now let's go with a darker blue. Okay. okay. What comes after K? L. Now let's go with lime green. So what comes after L? I know this is the part where everybody always speeds through the alphabet. So we slowing it down. M. <laughs> and what comes after M? N. Let's get some pink in our lives. What comes after N? O. What comes after O? P. Now let's do some brown. What comes after P, boys and girls? Q. And after Q, we get the? R. What comes after R? S. Lightning round. T. U. V. W. X. Y. Did I use this green? I think I did use green. And Z. And just because we got a little space left on the plate, I'm going to do a little heart. I can't draw that well, but we're going to do a circle. We're going to do a triangle. And if you tuned in with us last go round, you already know that these are shapes and what type of math involves shapes? Geometry. So let's see. Oh, we got we can put a rectangle in there real quick. Whew, any other things you can think of, Miss Britta, we could put right there? Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> we got the triangle, we got the square. Unless you want to make a cube. 
Hmm, let's mm. see. Mrs. Brewer is challenging me now. <laughs> cube. So, if you don't know how to make a cube, you start off by making two squares, and then you draw the lines to connect. <laughs> I don't think with this thick of marker it turned out so well, but you guys get the point. All right, and just because I love hearts, I'm gonna do another heart. All right, so let me move all of this. This is our plate. All right, it reminds us of our alphabet, our colors, as well as our shapes. So now it is time for us to get into the magic. All right, Mrs. Brewer, are you ready? Mother, yes. Are you guys ready? Ready? Let's get it. Slowly. You guys see? We have some shapes and some letters that are moving. Now, what colors do you know are moving quicker? So we see our lime green got up pretty fast. Our brown got up pretty fast. Our green. Oh, our blue. Yes. So now, Mrs. Brewer is going to grab all that noise that you guys hear. That is Miss May. <laughs> so we had to remove her for a second because she kept trying to lick up the letters. So she wasn't going to give you guys an opportunity to see them. So she's on a little time out, but she still has her toys with her. Now, Mrs. Brewer is bringing the larger container that she is going to, uh oh, I'm noticing that those orange, our rectangle is getting yeah, picked up. Around. Yes, so Mrs. Brewer is going to carefully try to transport them from the plate to our larger container. And then she's also gonna show you guys an even cooler experiment that you can add on, or I'm sorry, science trick that you can add on top of it. We have to be careful. Ooh. There we go. Now, some of the letters didn't come off because I poured the water kind of fast. But, as you can see, we're moving around there. I'm hoping you guys can see, like, our S is floating, our C, our L, our triangle. And now we got some more that are coming off. Our X, our M, our L, our J. M as well as N or W are coming off. So the only letters that I'm seeing that are just staying stubbornly are from our black marker and our red marker. It seems like those are the two colors that are being the most stubborn. But as soon as I said that, our A is coming up. And if you guys could look real closely, oh, it finally broke apart, but you could actually see the small little piece or amount of adhesiveness, you actually saw it separating itself from the plate. So you can kind of, you look at the end of that A, you can kind of tell just like if you were gluing something and you ripped it apart, you can kind of see it going ahead and coming apart. So now we're going to try to transfer it. Now, do we want to try to see if we could lift one up? Yes. So if you're like me and you do not have the most steady hands like Mrs. Brewer, um, you can try to take a pen and try to lift up carefully so let's see i think i'm gonna go for this m or this w right here oh, it's running away from me uh, i think i'm gonna hold the plate and let mrs mm -hmm. brewer do it because i'm like i'm so nervous so mrs brewer goes for the j the j is running away okay, but I she got the j up. And placed it back down, but it does not want to come off. Also, uh, the letters like Mrs. Brewer better than me. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, once you get it on, it doesn't want to come off. So, we're going to slowly put the other letters down in the water. There we are. We have letters floating around. And now, as you can see, these are the only letters that remain. So black and red, we're trying to be, oh, and we got some brown that was trying to be stubborn, but we have our brown uh, triangle here, our brown X. So yeah, and then we still see that there are some letters that are 100% all the way still together, some of our shapes. And yeah, of course, you can pick them up now. I'm going to try to get that A right here. Oh, I got right. it. 
so you guys can kind of see it, all right? So, but we did find out that once it sticks on there, like, it flails around in the water, but I highly doubt when it does come off that it's going to resemble anything of its original shape. So, once again, that is a fun little holiday science slash magic trick that you can show off to the family. Now, what did we learn? The red did not transfer with the water as great, but green and black will definitely get you quite a few oohs and ahs. Now, if anyone asks you to explain this magic trick, simply just say, well, that is quite easy, my dear. Think about it. Ask them the front-loading questions of, what's the difference between a dry erase marker, a Sharpie marker, and a Crayola marker? Ask those questions and then explain to them that the other two types of markers that are not dry erase markers because they were intended to have some permanency about them, that they have more adhesive in their ink. And essentially, these dry erase markers have little to no adhesiveness. So you were able to transfer from one surface to another. And of course, then they float. So hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Have a very Merry Christmas. Merry Happy Christmas. Holidays. We look forward to seeing you in 2020. Say bye-bye, Mei Bye-bye. Oh, she, she wants to give a standing <laughs> ovation. <laughs>